Hey there everyone and welcome back to another circuit guide. My name is Trifium and this time around Mikal will be taking you through a lap of, of course, Zandvoort. It is going to be the Dutch Grand Prix this week for MRL Racing Action. We hope to see you in the stream. Of course, take it away Mikal. Hello everyone, welcome back once again to another Misfits Racing League circuit guide. This time we are around the Zandvoort circuit in the heart of Holland, of course for the Dutch GP. So as we start the lap on the left hand side, coming down for turn one, you want to break just where the sort of shadow passes here. You don't want to rely on the shadow however, because of course the time of day can affect where that shadow actually is. But around 75 to 80 meters, this is where you want to be braking. Keep the car as straight as you can, then turn in for this somewhat blind apex down to third gear. Then you just want a short shift to fourth just after the apex here. Bring then bring the car out wide. Trying not to use too much of the curbing. And then for turn two. You want to shift down to fifth gear. Just as you approach the 50 meter board. That 50 meter board is both your braking and turning point. Just step the brakes. So you're coming in at sixth gear. Use the engine braking. Just kiss the curb on that right hand side for turn two and then for turn three hard on the brakes down on the gears it can be a hard brake zone to get right down a second keeping it as tight as possible and then let the car wash out here to the exit curbing careful over the ripple strip I can see I'm bumping all over the place so careful getting the power down on the curbing but you want to be maximizing your exit as much as you can because the next three corners are completely flat. So turn four, this little sweep to the right. And then turn five, sweep to the left. Just taking the shortest line possible. Turn six, completely flat here. And then you get to the top of the hill here. So you're coming here basically super, super fast. And then you see this Pirelli sign on the left here. That's sort of your reference. So you want to be going down one gear down to 7th or even staying in 7th if you choose to rev out the car in 7th gear just as you pass this Pirelli sign so maybe about here you can sort of just see the apex um, on the right hand side of the screen coming in as wide as you can and then carrying all the speed just letting the downforce stick the car to the road careful not to touch the grass or the inside curbing but you want to get as tight as you can to the right hand side open the car up on the exit make it as straight of a line as you can trying to maybe you're not taking that outside curbing because it can unsettle the car but if you take it the right way it can be of benefit to you and then for turn 8 at the 50 meter board so right where we are here you just want to shift down to 6 dab the brake and turn in but careful not to use too much of the uh inside curb here as I can I sell your cards quite raised so you just be careful when attacking that curb then let the car drift out wide through turn 8 and then for turn 9 about 65 meters so just before the 50 meter board about here this is where you want to be uh, slamming on the brakes here but you have to be careful because this kind of corner just like the one we saw at Bahrain turns 9 and 10, it forces you to turn while braking, so you can't exactly use 100% brake pressure. Otherwise, you will lock that front right tire. But yep, hard on the brakes here around the 65 meter board. You want to go down to fourth, uh, down to third gear, sorry. Clipping that apex, and then fourth gear on the uh, yeah, fourth gear on the exit. Uh, don't use too much of the inside curve because it can unsettle you. And then this traction zone over here can be very, very hard uh, to get the power down. So just manage the throttle, trying to avoid the wheel spin. And then you want to bring the car outright for turn 10, just after the 50 meter board. That's when you want to be turning in. Take a bit of an earlier apex. But you have to be very careful not to touch this inside curbing because once you touch this inside curbing here see i'm raised again like that you're going to spin and i found that out quite a bit when preparing for this video so take it from me don't 
touch that inside curbing, otherwise you'll spin. But important to get a good exit. Again, short shift to four to avoid the wheel spin. You can let the car drift out wide here. Open up the DRS. As we head towards sector three. Now for turn 11. Fairly easy braking zone. It's just as this curb on the, the uh, left hand side starts. So hard on the brakes, down to third gear. And then with the apex you want to really attack this curbing to open up uh, turn 12 as much as you can. So like riding right over the curbing but careful not to cut it completely otherwise you will invalidate your lap time. And then for turn, uh, turn 12 you quickly flick the car to the left. You can go down a second gear hugging that inside apex but again just like at uh, turn 10 you do not want to touch that inside curbing because that will unsettle the car and probably spin you around. So down to second gear, short shifting to prevent the wheel spin on the exit. Let the car drift out wide. Be careful going over this exit curbing. Uh, it's not as, you know, as bad as some of the other curbs, but it still can uh, unsettle the car quite a bit. So careful using the uh, curb on the exit. We just want to maximize your speed before we get to probably uh, the hardest corner to get right on the entire circuit here. So turn 13. So for here, you want to be braking just after the 50 meter board. Here going down, down the gears. And you just want to make sure that you're carrying as much speed as you can. And on this inside curb, you want to hit the apex here like so. But you don't want to go over it. You don't want to go over the curb because that will unsettle your car, ruin your run through the next banked corner. And it will also, uh, could even spit you out wide here on this exit, uh, exit curbing. So this exit curbing can be very, very unsettling. Basically, you want to be uh, using as much of the track as you can without crossing over the white line here. Uh, this is a very, very easy corner to invalidate your lap time or pick up warnings. If you carry too much speed through turn 13, it um, can certainly become an issue for you. But it's all about maximizing your exit here. And uh, through turn 14, probably the most iconic corner on the circuit now, this massively banked right hander. Just hugging that inside, carrying all the speed, having as little steering input as you can. Then during the race, or like a race lap when you're starting your lap, you want to bring the car out to this left hand side so that you're in position for turn one the next lap. But in qualifying or in time trial like we are here, you want to hug the uh, inside here on the right hand side for the shortest run to the line. You'll see, hopefully we'll be, uh, or you should be seeing some of our drivers do that, trying to get that extra hundredth or so on their lap time. You know, every little bit counts in F1. But there, that is a lap around the circuit Zandvoort here in the Netherlands. So I'll now show you the hot lap at full speed. And as always, be sure to check in on Thursday for some MRL racing action. So yeah, enjoy the hot lap, guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Take it easy.
Hey everyone, that is going to wrap up this in-depth guide around the Netherlands. Of course, it was Zandvoort Mikau taking us for that super in-depth look at how to do this circuit, drive this circuit, and this is of course the setup that he used here in this video. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, hit that like button. We will see you this Thursday for MRL action for, of course, round number five. It's the Dutch Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the racing action, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more great racing. Of course, you can check us out on Twitch. Every Thursday we have racing then, and we're going to have a lot more coming to you soon. Twitter, where you can find all of our updates, and Discord, if you're interested in becoming a part of the Misfits community. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.